yeah, now time check. It's 10 o'clock. I mean, 10 p.m. Philippine time, and I am here making a video since I don't have any time in the morning to make this video because I'm too busy taking care of my little son. I am alone. I don't have any help. I have no helper. I have no nanny, and I'm living alone by myself. Aww. So yeah, as of today and for today's video, I am going to share with you how to live minimal, as in minimal, and how to live being a minimalist. So I started living um, minimalist since 2017, and the result is amazing. This is really amazing that um, I can say that I only own a two pair of shoes. One is a rubber shoes and one is kind of formal shoes that I always wore in the office. And also I only have a one slipper that I'm using almost every day. So yeah, being a minimalist or being a minimal person is a good thing actually because the one thing is you don't break your bank because I don't have any bank at all. Yeah! <laughs> Number two is you started to live um, confidently. I mean, you are confident living with yourself because you don't have I mean, you don't um, ask for it or you don't want something and you are satisfied of what you have, especially for the things, like for example. Um, last a few years, I wanted to buy these things or I wanted to buy these pants, but it's kind of expensive, so I work for it, I work hard for it to buy that pants. And then when I got the pants, I only wore that one for two months since I gained weight. Diba? Super useless. Because hindi ko siya magagamit a long time. And until at this moment, the pants is still there. Kasi nabili ko siya ng expensive and I don't want to let it go because that pants is expensive. So I think, I was like, oh my god, why I keeping things that um, it's not useless or it's useless anymore, diba? So why don't I take it off or why did I going to let it go? So yeah, I am looking for a new owner for that pants and the size is a 34. So just PM me or just send me a message <laughs> para mapapakinabangan ninyo. And so, yeah, I started being minimal and I started with myself. I started it ASAP, like ASAP. So, um, first is I declutter my clothes. I only have a minimal clothes or just only selected clothes that I'm using in the office or I'm using for shopping, for rooming around, just only a pair of t-shirts shorts and also pants that it, that's it and i only have a two dresses that i'm using that one during for example there is an occasion birthdays um a dinner like that so i just only have a two dresses and also of course uh, two shoes so yeah and also i didn't i mean I only bought something that is necessary inside the house, necessary for myself. I didn't buy something that I wanted because, yeah, as everyone knows, if you want that thing, of course you have to work hard for that one. But if you are practicing being a minimal, once is, it's just like, hindi mo siya feel because you are um, you have a goal to to be minimal person to buy something that is necessary and to use something that is available in the table or available in front of you and also you are starting to live in a you are starting to practice a sustainable living like for example I know now how to plant my own vegetables I have a little front yard in front of my house and 
I have a some vegetables in there. So yeah, um, they already have bearing fruits or bearing vegetables or yeah, bearing fruits. So na papakinabangan ko na siya talaga, which is super um, good or yeah, super productive sa 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 ganon situation. And one other thing also is, for example, since I am a mom now, um, of course we have to, um, you know, to buy things that is necessary. Like I bought clothes for my baby since I was pregnant, and also I accept I accept um, clothes from my friends that you know, pinagmulumagi ng mga friends, ng mga baby nila. So yeah, I have it, and since may medyo bago pa naman siya, kaya yun, kaya ginagamit siya ng baby ko. And as of this moment, I didn't buy a clothes for my baby. I mean, hindi pa ako nakakabay ng clothes ever because he still gives me the clothes that I bought when I was pregnant and when he's, you know, when he's not existing yet. So, bumili na talaga ako because I don't have any idea or hindi ko in-expect that I'm gonna bear a son. Pero, bumili na ako that time since there's a lot of sale out there. At that time na I'm not minimalist yet, eh, bumili ako. And then, so luckily, I bear a son. Kaya yun na suot niya. Diba? Super lucky. <laughs> and also, one more thing is for the decorations. As you can see, my walls are a little bit not empty, but a kind of empty. As you can see, this area is empty. Expect to that area since um, that area is a kind of um, my happiness area. <laughs> I like to show giant because those painting or those things have a significant value in the past. Kaya nilagay ko siya dyan. For example, that one, the other one. And also, there's one, two, three, four paintings. Um, that paintings are painted by my friend at pinigay niya sa akin. So, diba? Super, super okay siya. Happy! Yun. And then I decided to put a Christmas tree in that side. But before, I put a Christmas tree in this side. Pero, ginagrab ng baby ko and it's ano, um, hassle for me kasi may kinukuha ko dun sa storage box. So, sobrang hassle. Kaya, I decided to put in there, um, in the stair. Kaya, okay naman siya. Pero, nilalaro-laro pa rin ng baby ko kasi naakit niya yung stair. And then, nilalaro niya yan. Tinatagay yung mga balls. And then, after that, binibigay niya din sana. Nila sabi niya, ah, 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 ah. Like, binibigay niya sa akin. Binabalik niya. So, ibig sabihin is, ibabalik ko. Kasi, he doesn't know how to put in again. Yeah. And also in this side, as you can see on the first video, in this area, I in the hallway, I put the walker in this area and also the stroller since um, wala on storage area. Because we have only a small space here. This is just a small unit. And um, my kitchen is a really a dirty kitchen <laughs> because hindi pa siya tapos nilagyan lang siya ng tapal tapos nilagyan lang siya ng konting harang like a separate um, area para at least meron kang privacy kung magluluto ka ganun <laughs> and then I have a very small little kitchen in this area since I used a butane for Gab's food so yeah all in all okay naman and also I only have one bed upstairs, like really one bed, and I started to sleep on the floor since, yeah, since the corona, I'm baby, and um, it's a very, I uh, know, helpful since it was accident sa baby, kasi di ba, pag yung may baby ka na, yung iniisip mo talaga lagi is yung baby para it was accident so take all the things that can cause accident and don't use the things that can cause accident like for example and in this area um i can buy or i can put a sofa in here but i decided not to because it can cause accident kasi nga umakit akit na siya and naakitan niya na so yung main problem ko lang ngayon is yung stair i am looking for something to put in the stair para maharang siya dyan at hindi siya aakyat. 
So that's my main problem as of the moment. Kasi one time, I was slipping in here. I mean, we are slipping in this area. And then, um, I woke up when I woke up. He already in the third, um, third stair. Third step of the stairs. So I was, oh my god, I feel so terrified that time. Because, you know, it's too dangerous. Baka malalang lang siya dyan. My god, bukol ulo. Kaya yun. So, so, uh, sa ngayon, um, decide na ako na we're going to sleep upstairs. Para hindi siya malalang lang talaga. Kasi sa, naka, nakasarado naman siya. Kaya yun. So, safe na siya. Kaya naiwan mo siya doon safe siya kasi hindi siya malalaglag. Wala siyang paglalaglagan. Hindi, hindi siya marunong umakit ng bed pa. So, yan. And also, we are living organic. <laughs> As everyone knows, we are living organic. Me and my son are living organic at the moment. I mean, since he was born and since I got pregnant, I practice a living to... I eat um, organic and healthy. I don't... You know, I don't eat pork, jam, foods, soda. Yeah, I cut all the things and also the chips. So, yeah, good luck that um, I can maintain this one in the next few years. So, I just wanted to wish everyone um, take care, stay at home, and be safe, safe since there is a pand still a pandemic. And, yeah. Always be healthy and you have a great day. Thank you so much guys for watching and have a great day everyone. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye bye. So here we go. As you can see this one, I don't own any sofa. This is just a bare wall. And as you can see, it's nothing in there. I mean, of course there is just a play mat and toys of my baby. And also I have this amazing storage box that I made. Um, there's a video in it, so please check on it. And also in this area, I have a little decoration like this Christmas tree. That I made this one last week as you can see this is a little Christmas tree because now Christmas is coming and we are trying to celebrate Christmas together since this will be our um, second Christmas I mean yes it's our first Christmas with my little guy as you can see there's a plot in there to make our house uh, refreshing and also the books are there um, on the floor because I don't own any tables and dividers yeah it's all bare empty so to make these chairs um, uh, I know useful so I put the box in there and also yeah and here is the toilet Ta I don't uh, have any curtains here because I wanted to make it cozy and simple. And also this mat. Actually, this is not a toilet mat or a slip-on mat. This is a changing mat that my baby used a long time ago. And then I decided to recycle it since he didn't um, use it anymore. Kaya yan, super, you know, super... Um, mapapakinabangan pa. So yeah, that's it. And also we have a hallway here as you can see. Mary's stroller and walker. Since we don't have any space and we don't um, only have and we only have a small space here. So and I have table and chair over here. There's only the two of us and a mini kitchen. As you can see that one. It's just a little one and I'm using that one for cooking and yeah, that's it.